Hi, today I'm going to take you to Florence, Italy, the capital of the Renaissance, and overall one of the most important cultural cities. Right now we are at the Uffizi Gallery, where works can be found from artists such as Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Raphael. We are in the long East Wing Corridor, where many statues of the Roman emperors can be found, and also portraits of the members of the Medici family. We are in the early Renaissance room named after Botticelli. This is where artists first started using 3D realistic perspective in their artworks. This is one of the most well-known paintings from the early Renaissance, Piero della Francesca, Duke of Urbino. The birth of Venus captures the moment of the goddess of love and beauty reaches the island of Cyprus. In the adoration of the Magi, Botticelli painted both Lorenzo de' Medici, the man in the black cloak, and perhaps himself, the young man at the right looking at the observer. This is another adoration of the Magi, but this time by Leonardo da Vinci. As you can see, the painting is not completely finished. Some figures are just sketched. Leonardo da Vinci painted his Annunciation only at the age of 20. Michelangelo's holy family with the young saints John the Baptist is the only documented panel painting. It is worth noting that this painting uses both antique and Christian motifs and sits in its original rich frame. There are many paintings of Raphael in this room. This one behind me is Madonna of the Goldfinch. This is another adoration of the Magi, but this time for Albert Durer.
This shield with Medusa's head on it, painted by Caravaggio, was presented to Grand Duke Ferdinando I. Besides the Renaissance paintings, Grand Duke Cosimo III and later on Ferdinand III purchased and brought to Florence a number of paintings of famous Dutch artists such as Rembrandt, Rubens, and Van Dyck. Talking about Toscana and Florence would be incomplete without mentioning the Medici family, who ruled from the 13th century to the 18th century. The contribution of the Medici family to architecture, art, including the Renaissance, and science could never be exaggerated. I would like to show you some silver Medici coins from my family collection. The first coin is a Florence testone of Francesco I de Medici, dated 1577. The obverse has the bust of the Grand Duke Francesco, while the reverse shows St. John. The next coin is a piastra of Cosimo II Medici with his portrait on the obverse. The Medici shield is on the reverse. The coin is minted in Pisa in 1620. The next three coins are all Cosimo III de Medici. This piastra is minted in Florence 1683 and has the Grand Duke Cosimo III on the obverse. And the Christ's baptism by St. John on the Jordan River on the reverse. This coin was minted in Livorno, Toscana in 1699. Again, we can see Cosimo III on the obverse. And the port of Livorno on the reverse. The Medici crown, scepter, and chain symbolize the ducal statues of the family and can be seen in many portraits and on some of the coins. The last coin was also minted in Livorno. It is dated 1707, and contrary to previous coins, it does not have the Toscano ruler Cosimo on it. Instead, the obverse has a beautiful rose, and the Toscano shield is on the reverse. I'd like to say, unlike modern coins, ancient coins had real value because they were made out of copper, silver, and gold. Thank you for watching my video.